While most people are scrolling past space headlines, something very real is quietly unfolding above our heads. Today's update is about two objects, one from outside our solar system and one so large it barely fits the word comet. Let's start with 3i Atlas. Here's one of the clearest images we've seen so far of 3i Atlas. This is real data, real photons, not a simulation. Look closely at the structure. You can see the coma glowing around the core and a main tail flowing backward like we'd expect. But the strange part is right here. That sharp forward facing streak pointing ahead of the nucleus. In older images, this feature was faint, almost invisible, but here it's bright, defined, structured. Now this was not a quick snapshot. It was captured using 57 stacked exposures, each 60 seconds long, using a ZWO ASI 533MC Pro camera and an ASCAR 71F telescope. That's almost an hour of total light collection just to reveal what you're seeing right now. This is the original source post that shared the image. And this matters because it shows the wider context, the sky conditions, the equipment, and the process behind the image. This wasn't taken in a controlled lab. This came from real sky, real tracking, real calibration. Now here's the key detail. That forward-facing jet doesn't look chaotic. It doesn't look random. It looks focused. And that matters because interstellar objects aren't supposed to behave like this so clearly. Now, this is where things get serious. This isn't a normal picture. This is raw telescope data. At first glance, it looks like noise, just stars streaking through the frame. Um, but look right here, that dark circular blob in the center. That's 3i Atlas. Now the same data after heavy processing, rotational gradient filters, Larsen Seconina techniques. This is what astronomers use when they're searching for hidden structures inside a comet's coma. That tiny bright point in the center, that might be our first real look at the nucleus. In this version, the nucleus becomes even more visible. The noise fades, the structure sharpens, and the bright core stays fixed. Look at how the stars streak. Now look at the bright point in the center. It doesn't move with the stars, it doesn't smear, it stays locked to the object, that's important. Multiple processed frames, same bright point, same location, that's not noise, that's signal. This is the source post discussing these frames, and notice the wording. They don't say confirmed, they say may show. That's real science. But when multiple independent frames show the same structure, it stops being coincidence. It starts becoming evidence. And what that means is simple. We may be seeing the solid heart of an object that came from another star system. But 3i Atlas isn't the only strange object out there right now. Let's shift focus to something even more mysterious that's quietly moving through deep space. Now look at this. This is not 3i Atlas. This is an artist's concept of C-2014 UN-271, also known as Bernardinelli Bernstein. And this thing is enormous. Current estimates put its size at around 150 kilometers in diameter. That alone makes it one of the largest comet-like objects ever observed. This isn't artwork, this is real observation data. On the left, the real telescope image. In the middle, the coma model. On the right, the isolated nucleus. Officially, this object is classified as a comet, but it doesn't behave like a normal one. It has already shown outbursts of activity far past Saturn. Scientists have detected carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and even ammonia coming off its surface. That kind of activity shouldn't happen this far from the sun. Right now, it's near the orbit of Uranus, and it is slowly moving inward. But here's what makes it truly strange. At its closest approach, it won't even cross Saturn's orbit. 
Its perihelion is expected to be around 10.95 astronomical units. Most comets dive deep into the inner solar system. This one doesn't, which means it has probably never warmed up before. That means its internal material is ancient, untouched, extremely volatile, and that means we have no idea how it's going to behave. It could stay calm or it could erupt. Massive outgassing, huge jets, non-gravitational acceleration, and because of its size, any activity it shows happens on a completely different scale. This is considered the second largest comet-like object ever observed. And whatever we decide to call it, comet or object, one thing is clear. It's massive, it's active, and it's slowly moving inward. And right now, it's one of the strangest things we know about moving through our solar system. So now I want to hear from you. Does 3I Atlas feel like a normal interstellar visitor? And what do you think UN271 really is? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I read them all. If this kind of deep space update interests you, hit like and subscribe so you don't miss what comes next.